we have uh, the internal image transfer displays. So what does it mean image transfer um, interface? It means that we can transfer the image uh, continuously with a very high speed, uh, uh, high enough to refresh the display many times per second. Yes, So this is called a refresh rate of a display. Mm, uh, if you will go to the display specification or even a monitor or TV specification, you will see something like refresh rate or maximum refresh rate um, that this display can receive. So if we, for example, have uh, 60 hertz, that is 60 times per second, or 100 hertz for more advanced displays, uh, then that means that we need to send the full image uh, hundred times in every second yes and if we imagine how much data it is we need to multiply the resolution of the screen so for example for seven inch here uh, LVDS display will have uh, 1024 uh, by 600 so more or less is uh, uh, 600 thousands pixels of the screens but actually if you remember from my TFT uh, lecture uh, we don't have pixels in a TFT actually we have a sub pixels so we have even three times more so 600,000 pixels multiplied by three give us roughly 1.8 million sub pixels and to every sub pixels we need to deliver uh, the data about its state on and off but also about its brightness and usually it's 8-bit so <laughs> Uh, we have a lot of data actually let's say uh, let's say it's a two mega uh, pixel uh, display uh, sub pixel display and eight bit uh, so we need like 16 million bits uh, per second uh, not per second per frame to be transferred and as I mentioned if we have 100 uh, uh, Hertz refresh rate of a screen we need to do it hundred times per second yes so this kind of interfaces image transfer interfaces they need to be really really fast and they work in a hundred megahertz baud rate or even a gigahertz uh, baud rate to be able to transfer this uh, amount of data in every second so lvds interface is the most common nowadays in industrial um, uh, displays that we uh, that not only we sell but that are used worldwide and it's a low voltage differential signal it's a very important uh, feature of this um, of this interface that is a differential yes so if it's differential that mean we can use a twisted pair but even if we don't use a twisted pair uh, of the of the wires uh, still differential signal is uh, mm, very immune to the to the noises yes so that means we can send um, data uh, really fast and we are not um, let's say uh, broken by by some disturbances as you will see in other interfaces is quite common so uh, from from now for now please remember only that differential signal allow you to send the signals with a very high speed and be safe from uh, from the noises yes so LVDS is the most basic and common interface for that. Uh, the next uh, image transfer interface will be actually the older interface. It's called RGB uh, from the colors, from red, green and blue, of course, that we send parallel to the display. And this, uh, this, uh, this interface is not differential. So uh, this one uh, is more uh, it's easier to disturb with the noises uh, RGB display than LVDS and also you cannot go too high with the speed uh, of this uh, in this interface so LVDS is a serial interface uh, RGB is a parallel interface but it's not differential it's the biggest um, difference is that it's not differential so as you see uh, we send all the data all the time but uh, we send every bit in a separate line without the pair of the uh, of the bits like it is in the uh, LVDS signal. Uh, 
So in theory, this interface could be very fast because we are sending a lot of data, uh, but actually because it's not differential, this speed is limited. And usually we find the displays with RGB interface only up to maybe seven inch or 10 inch. A 12 inch is total maximum, but 12 inch if you want to find a with RGB interface, the resolution will be lower, uh, usually like 800 by 600. So very low for this, this size of a display. That's why seven inch usually is like uh, a size that is being switched from RGB to LVDS. And you can see uh, this in our products. If you will go to River the website and you will go to the IPS um, uh, displays that are displays without the controller, you will see that a small displays like 3.4, at 3.5, 4.3 inch, 5 inch, they are RGB interface. Then if you will go to seven inch, you will find uh, RGB, but you will also find LVDS and MIPI display. I will talk about MIPI a little bit later. And also uh, if you will go to the 10 inch, you will find only LVDS display because our 10 inch is a high resolution display, 1280 by 800, and it's impossible to build it uh, with the RGB interface. So we use only uh, LVDS. So please remember RGB is rather low speed, not very immune for the noises. Of course, it's stable if you don't use high resolutions and available for the, for the smallest size of the displays. And uh, uh, next interface here, uh, like internal embedded interface, uh, uh, getting more and more popular right now is a MIPI. So multimedia uh, interface actually mobile industry processor interface uh, to be precise. And this kind of interface uh, is used usually as the name it uh, suggests in mobile applications. Yes, so in tablets or mobile phones, in some laptops as well. But as I mentioned, this interface is getting more and more popular, uh, not only in the mobile applications, but going into industry as well. In RiverD in offer, you will find a seven inch uh, MIPI display. Uh, but be careful with the MIPI displays on the market because many of them come from the uh, mobile phones uh, or tablet market and then the glass um, availability, uh, the TFT glass uh, may not be stable. Yes, yeah? So please double check what you are buying because the display with the MIPI that you will buy nowadays may be uh, uh, phased out pretty soon when the, when the mobile phone built on that will be phased out as well. So this uh, market change really fast, like every six months or every, every year. So uh, if you will buy seven inch uh, reverted display with the MIPI, you are safe because this is industrial display. That's why we have very limited number of MIPI displays, just one now and planning maybe two more uh, because we want to be sure be that what we have on our website is always uh, available for a very long time. Yes, longevity is uh, one of our core values. We don't want to deliver anything that uh, will not be supporting maybe three or five years later because we know many of our customers are building industrial devices or medical or military devices and they, uh, they need, they expect the displays to be available very long. But MIPI uh, is a very important and growing uh, interface in a display field. Then we have a, a V by one uh, interface. It's not very common. It's a very high speed interface, also LVDS kind of interface like MIPI. So low voltage differential signal, uh, but V by one is usually used uh, in a high resolution screens, uh, in a large screens. Yes. So if you will buy, for example, 55 inch um, or, or larger 4K TV right now, probably interface inside will be the V by one, the, the, the embedded interface, yes. So uh, V by one, very fast um, interface for a high bandwidth. So we, with the high refresh rate and high resolution displays, as I mentioned, usually 4K and above uh, displays. Then we have embedded display port, uh, display, so EDP uh, in short, uh, we call it like a new LVDS, uh, because many uh, new industrial displays are coming with the EDP. If you will go through um, uh, industrial manufacturers of the, of the TFTs, uh, you will see that there are more and more models available with the EDP. And EDP 
is a native interface uh, that you can find in, in some of the new processors, yes, like Intel or ARM based processors, they may have already embedded DisplayPort as a native display interface, that means you don't need anything extra to connect uh, display to the processor, uh, so it, ma it, it makes the cost down, yes, so we have a processors on the market, so we need a display on the market with embedded display port and I would say that many mm, uh, tablets, uh, laptops, I'm sorry, right now or monitors, they are using embedded display port mm, as an internal uh, interface instead of LVDS but LVDS is still popular and I would say that in industrial displays is the most uh, popular. It's kind of um, um, LVDS display because all of them, and that is a MIPI, uh, VPI1 or EDP uh, they are variation of LVDS. Of course, the protocol are different. The signals are a little bit different. So, for example, for EDP, we can have uh, uh, lower noises or like reduction of power, etc. Yes. So all of them have some advantages over regular LVDS, but all of them are actually LVDS type. Yes.